recording. Good morning, everyone. It's once again time for our Wednesday morning Bible study. We'll, we will be talking about loving God today. We will start on the radio in just a couple moments. We have Reverend Dr. Greg Oates with us, and we have Good morning. Reverend Perry Jackson, pastor of St. Paul Baptist Church with us. Always good to have Reverend Jackson join us. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. to find us. Amen. Amen. All right, about 30 seconds in the devotion. Let me go ahead and get my transcript pulled up. K102.5 FM. Good morning to you on your Wednesday. It's February 10th, 2021. And if you are listening on the radio, please be safe while you are out and about getting reports of traffic accidents all over town. So if you have to be out, please be safe. And we're going to pray for everyone that is out there to be safe in their travels in Jesus' name. Amen. This is Amen. our Wednesday morning Bible study. We have Reverend Dr. Greg Oaksa with us. And we also Good have. Morning. Reverend Perry Jackson of St. Paul Baptist Missionary Baptist Church joining us as well. And our topic for today is loving God. Why do we have to love the Lord and how do we validate our love for God? Well, we're going to talk about it since you Wednesday morning Bible study. Okay, L.E.K. 2.5 FM. Amen. Welcome, Pastor Jackson. Thank you. Good Thank to you. have you. Would you pray for us before I we would. do anything? I, I Father our God, we thank you, Lord for another opportunity to be on your radio, uh, to be able to talk about loving you, God. We pray for KLEK 102.5 FM radio. We pay, pray for Dr. Ota with the vision of this thing. We pray, God, that you bless our Bible study this morning and bless the listeners. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, amen. thank you. So loving God, we hear the word love. Sometimes we don't fully understand. We think love is a feeling. Right. We forget that love is a choice. Mm -hmm. And uh, we choose to love because God loved us. And what we do proves whether we love or not. So we throw around the four letter word love and we really don't fully understand what it means. So today, we uh, let's examine loving God and what it does for us. So why do we have to love the Lord. Number one, he first loved us. Lady Angie, would you read? And I'll let uh, Pastor Jackson comment. All right, that takes us to our first scripture, which is 1 John 4, 19. We love him because he first loved us. Amen. It's just the mere fact that he died for us on the, for our sins on the cross. Mm -hmm. um, that's the message uh, that we as preachers should be preaching. Amen. That's the kind of love that he had for that he sacrificed himself Amen. for us. And I mean, that's plain and simple. Amen. So we love him because he first loved us. Mm -hmm. Okay. But number two is Romans 5 8. That reads, But God commanded his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Okay. So God commanded. Uh, there's no sin in God. 
God is holy, and he created us in his image. Now we have sin on us, so he can't deal with us. While we were doing things against him, he died for us. Right. While we were writing, writing bounce checks, God put <laughs> money in our account. So the checks we write him don't bounce. <laughs> we were unredeemable. He redeemed us. <laughs> yes, sir. That check couldn't have been cashed by any other means. He had to put money in our account so the check can be cashed to him. It's a check right. we, we, we're supposed to write to him, and we don't got no money. We're bankrupt. You're right. And we were in a pawn shop. Amen. Because <laughs> so, somebody else gave us up. <laughs> and he came and redeemed us from that pawn shop. He came shop. and redeemed us. So we don't get put in the garbage can. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So, so that, that's why we have to love God. Just two scriptures. That, again, why do we have to love God? It is commanded. Yeah. Because he redeemed us. He gave us rules to obey so that we can keep loving God because if we don't, we're going the wrong direction. Right. Again, this is a choice. Love is a choice. You can choice. choose to love your spouse or not. How you prove your love for your spouse is by the things you do for your spouse or not do. You can say, I love you every day and don't lift a finger to help your spouse. So here we are commanded, Luke 10, 27. And he answering said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy strength and with all thy mind and thy neighbor as thyself. Mm. Okay. That's, that's powerful. He, he said, you shall love. Mm -hmm. And and sometimes um, we we more self focused when we should be focused on the way that He loved us, and we should reciprocate that not only to God but to, uh, our fellow to others. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I fellow him, and not just say that I love you, but you need to put your heart in it. You need to put your soul in it. You need to put your strength in it. You need mm -hmm. to put all your mind in it, mm -hmm. and don't forget about your neighbor. Oh Amen. my God. Amen. Deuteronomy 7 9 says, Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, mm, right. the faithful God, <laughs> which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him mm. and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. So we have to understand there is a God. He is God. He's the Lord. He is the God. Mm. Okay. He's faithful, so whatever he has said, he will do. No matter what we do, no matter how we do it. Whatever he has said, he has the capacity to do. We could walk away and not see what he does. But he's still going to do what he said he would do. So love, love is a contract. If I stay engaged in the contract, whatever the contract produces, I reap the benefit. I could walk away from the contract, it will get executed. I just won't see it because I walked away from it. Help me. <laughs> that, I, I, was, I was sitting here thinking, you know, when I think about Psalms 8, when I think about the sun, moon, and stars, mm -hmm. you know, what is man that thou mindful of him? Mindful of so, it. Amen. What is it that we as humans are done for God to love us the way that he loved us. Amen. And, and so it's important that we, it, it's important that we love him, but while we worthy of his love, mm -hmm. what did we do so great that says, hey, that he would send his only begotten son to hang, bleed, and die on Calvary Hill for our sins. Mm -hmm. He didn't have to do it. So that, that just shows that, that just shows the love that he had and, and we need mm. to reciprocate that to people because you know i was sharing with my wife uh, you know some time ago that people don't have to be nice to you mm -hmm. grace doesn't grace does not have to be extended to you and Amen. we shouldn't really expect grace to be extended but since it has come through his son jesus christ we ought to rejoice and we ought to amen. love amen amen thank you so 
We've talked about why do we have to love the Lord. Now let's talk about how do we validate our love for God. Mm -hmm. Number one, obedience. Obedience. Look at it. That takes us to John 14, 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. So love demands obedience. Mm -hmm. If I love, I don't question. According to 1 Corinthians 13, I don't doubt. I'm not fearful. If I hear command because I love, I obey. Mm -hmm. right. Jesus said, this, the, the if question comes in again. If you, if love, you, love you will obey my commandment. Keep so my the commandment. measure of your love is in your obedience. Mm. Amen. Acts 5.29. And it reads... Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. Mm -hmm. More validation. More Amen. validation. It's Amen. more valid because uh, man only sees what he sees. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's a saying, you know, believe none of what you hear and half of what you see. Mm hmm. And so man's viewpoint is different from God's viewpoint. God, according to Isaiah, he's high lifted up. His mm -hmm. viewpoint is way different from our viewpoint. So Amen. if God says something, then we ought to we need to obey God rather than man, because Amen. man don't always see. They don't see the heart, they don't see the soul, they don't see the spirit. Amen. When God told Samuel, he said, Go out and when you go out and choose a king, don't look at the man, but mm -hmm. look at the heart. Amen. And that's what God sees. Amen. God sees the heart. Mm -hmm. It descends the intents of our heart. And it, amen. Amen. So, number two, how do we validate? We serve him. Service is very important. Who you serve is important. Mm -hmm. Who you serve determines what you believe. Uh -huh. Now, Matthew 6, 24 says, no man can serve two masters. No man for qualification, no man. That means no we, man. we can't fool ourselves. Okay, carry on. For he, for either he will hate the one mm -hmm. and love the other, or mm -hmm. else he will hold to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and mammon. Okay, so mm -hmm. mammon is the spirit of wealth in the Babylonian religion. Okay. So God takes mammon and puts it at the same level as him. Mm. And say, Mammon says you don't have enough. God says, I, You have enough in me. <laughs> to go after Mammon, you have to sacrifice God at the altar of Mammon. That means I can lie, I can kill, I can steal. Uh -huh. But God said, If you serve me, leave Mammon alone. I'll make it serve you. Mm. So <laughs> if we serve God, the money will follow. If we go after money, we have left God. So this is a plain rule of engagement God is explained from his perspective. Just like you said, he sees higher. He sees where our mind is. He said, look, mm -hmm. if you go after this, you're going to miss me. That's you come right. after me, I'll make the mammon follow you. <laughs> Until you follow it. <laughs> so people say, money finance me. But if, if you don't... You, people say money finds me, mm -hmm. but money can't find you if you hadn't found God. No, money don't see you. That's right. And when he sees you, he wants to control you. That's right. Because mm -hmm. it's competing with the spirit of God. That's right. All right. Number three, we're not going to read the second scripture. Okay. Number three, we worship and praise him if we loved him. How do we prove that we love him? How do we validate our love? John 4, 23. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Amen. Mm. Said the hour cometh and now is. Mm -hmm. He said he was coming, now he's here. It's here. When the true worshipers shall worship the Father mm. In the spirit and in truth. Mm. Pastor Jackson. As true worshipers. Uh, As true worshipers. 
as true worshipers, God, Amen. God is seeking us to worship Him in spirit and truth, and He and He knows the heart, and He understands the heart more than any man can understand another person's heart, Amen. and so He inhabits the praises of His people, mm-hmm. and and God says in in Hebrews eleven that He is a rewarder of them who diligently seek, seek Him. Him. Amen. And Amen. as a true worshiper, you're going to sil- diligently seek him. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that. First Chronicles 16, 29. Give unto the Lord the mm-hmm. glory due unto his name. Mm-hmm. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. So give unto the Lord. Give. Mm-hmm. This is, I love this word, give. Uh, in Luke 6, 38, the Lord explained to me what when he, when he says give, mm-hmm. he doesn't want you to give from an empty place. He already right. gave you. So he right. says, give from what you have. Whether it's by mouth or by pocket or hand, give from what you have, what I already gave you. Because when you mm-hmm. were born, you didn't come with anything. Not even clothes. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when you exit, you're going to exit without clothes. Mm-hmm. You're not going to have any other stuff. So what I gave you, is steward. You are my steward. I gave you these things to run this race on earth. So give out of what you already have. Now, look at this. He says, give unto the Lord the glory. So what I'm giving him is already his. I just have to be conscious of what I'm doing to give him the glory due his name. He said, bring an offering. Well, how am I going to bring an offering if I don't have anything? He knows he already gave me something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you so don't probably bring an offering. I don't care if you said dime or t- God don't need no money. Right. He doesn't have a bank in heaven. If he did, the money, the, the serial numbers will be fake. Because we won't accept <laughs> it on earth. It'll be kind of it. Well, <laughs> well, you know, if uh, Dr. Oda, if you invited me over to my to your house, mm-hmm. proper etiquette would be for me to bring something if you invited me over to your house. Amen. That's proper, that's proper that's etiquette. Proper. Yeah. And, and so when I when I come over to your house, I bring something. Well, mm-hmm. you're thinking in a sense, well, he brought me something that was wonderful, that was beautiful. I can't allow him to outgive me. Amen. So let me give him something in return Amen. before he leaves. That's proper Amen. etiquette. It's Amen. the same thing with, with God. When we bring our worship to him mm-hmm. and he inhabits our worship and our praise, mm-hmm. he's I can't let this allow this person to leave my house without me giving him something in return. Because his his law, the proof of love, love is in giving. Amen. That's right. Amen. <laughs> and we're, we have a I mean, guys, we don't run out of time, right? <laughs> yes, sir. That was your warning shot, right? Do we yes, have sir. any shout outs before? Oh, we do. Uh, Reverend Ota, your bride, uh, First Lady Ota is on. Shout out oh, to God. Amy Boatman, Elena D. Prunty, and my friend B Hop Johnson, appreciate each and every one of you for checking in on our live feed. My own bride, amen. So, what do we yeah. do next? Next is where we lead people to Christ, and as mentioned earlier by Reverend Jackson, God gave the ultimate example of his love by sending his son Christ to die for us. And all you have to do is accept it to continue to get all of the blessings of God's love. So, all you have to do is repeat this prayer after me Lord Jesus. I come to you today as a sinner. Forgive me my sins. Wash me with your blood. Make me a child of God. I believe you died for me. And on the third day, you rose that I might be justified. I believe I'm born again. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen. If you prayed this prayer, congratulations. You are now saved. Find a Bible-believing, Bible-teaching church, and fellowship with the body of fellow believers. Amen. Amen. So it's time for us to go. Pastor Jackson, I appreciate you being here. I appreciate it, the opportunity. Dr. If Oda. it's okay with you, may I say a closing prayer? Yes, sir. Father God, we do thank you now. We bless you for your word you have implanted yes. in our hearts by this radio station and this broadcast today. Yes. Bless us, Father, as only you can. Guide us with your spirit that we might love you Love our neighbors and then us last. Yes, Lord. Bless this radio station. Bless all that is going to be on the road today. Let there be safety. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thanks for tuning in.
And of course, this is Thank all gospel you, Wednesday. We have great gospel music all day long. And of course, also if this broadcast has blessed you, please consider donating to KLEK. You can donate by going on our website, klekfm.org. Click the green donate button, or you can mail a check to 1411 Franklin Street, Jonesboro, Arkansas, 72401. Or cash app dollar sign K L E K F M. Quick programming note: If you ever want to know the story about K L E K, how it got started, and how we have impacted the community, you can tune in to the A State Lunch and Learn series. I will be the special guest. Um, you do have to register. It is a free event, but the only way you can watch it is you do have to register through their website, which is mm. A State Alumni dot org forward slash K O. Again, that's astatealumni.org forward slash K-O-K-A-L-E. Uh, you put in your email information, then the Zoom link will be sent to you. And if you didn't catch that, just contact us at the station and we'll be happy to provide that link to you. All right, right we you have guys Bible have... study tonight, don't we? Yes, sir, we do. Amen. Join us on Facebook Live and Zoom. Am I correct? Yes, sir. God bless you all. God bless you guys you. have a great and blessed day. This is Kate, L.E. Kate, 2.5 FM. Thank you, gentlemen. All right, thank you.